Next, we are going to identify the position of the station point in this figure. Now, I had specified, we have drawn picture plane, we have drawn ground line, we have drawn the locus of station point. So, somewhere on this line, the station point has to lie. Now, read the question. The station point is 6 cm in front of PP, 4 cm above the ground and lies in a central, the, lies in a plane that passes through the center of the block. So, first find the center of the block. So, I will be drawing two light lines at the center, joining the opposite corners. I will be getting the center. Okay. From this, you can draw a vertical line. You have to draw a vertical line till it falls exactly at the this line. Okay. Here, this is where we will be getting the exact position of the station point. Or in another position, in another manner, the observer is standing here. Okay. So, this is our station point. Now, this much portion is actually the top view. This much portion is the top view and here we are going to draw the front view. Okay, this much portion from here till the station point is top view and from ground line till this line we are going to draw front view. Okay, now next we are going to find the position of the station point in the line of sight that will be lying exactly below SP. Just project SP downwards. Okay, we will be getting SP dash. So this is how you will be marking all the points. So I drew the top view. Okay. Then I drew the front view. Front view should be very light. You have to find the center. You project it downwards. You will be getting SP. Exactly below SP, you will be getting SP dash. Now, if this figure, if you are drawing it according to the dimensions, you will be getting like this. Okay. So we are having the solid. We are the front view is here. This distance is 60 mm. This is 40 mm. Okay, and the height of the solid is 20. I have marked SP, I have marked SP dash. Now, I am going to draw the perspective projection. We are going to get the perspective projections here. For that, what you do is, as I said earlier, see, in this figure, we can see that all the visual rays are converging to the vanishing point. Now, the visual rays has to start from the corners of the solid. It has to end at the station point. Same thing that we are going to do here. Okay, we are, first we are going to start from top view. Top view, the corners are A1, B2, C3, D4. So first draw lines from all these corners and join it to the station point. First I'll be joining D4 to station point. Then I'll be joining A1 to station point. Then I'll be joining C3 to station point. And then I'll be joining B2 to station point. All these lines are should be drawn using very light lines. Okay, so I'll be joining all the lines to the station. I'll be joining all the corners to the station point. Similarly, here also we have to join all the corners to SP dash. That means we have to join here A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash, as well as 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash. Here we got only 4 lines, but here we'll be getting 8 lines. Okay, so I'm going to draw the lines. From D dash, I'll be drawing a very light line. Then from A dash, I'll be drawing a very light line. Then similarly, from C dash, I'll be drawing a very light line. And from B dash also, I'll be joining a very light line. All these lines should be joined to SP dash. Similarly, this construction has to be repeated from 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash also. So next, I'll be joining 4 dash to SP dash. Similarly, 1 dash to SP dash. 3 dash to SP dash and 2 dash also to SP dash. So I will be joining A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash and 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash to SP dash. Now here in this figure as I had shown, we are going to get the perspective projection on picture plane. Okay, we have to get the perspective projection on picture plane. See, we are getting a lot of points on picture plane now. We are getting a lot of points on picture plane. Actually, these points we are getting when we are joining the corners to station point. D4 is touching picture plane at a point. A1 is touching. C3 is touching. B2 is touching. We are going to project these points towards front view. We are going to project these points towards front view. But when you are projecting it, just look at the corresponding lines and project. For example, if I am projecting this point, this is lying on D4. It has to lie on the lines of D dash, SP dash and 4 dash, SP dash. So first I am projecting this point downwards. I will be projecting this point vertically downwards using a very light line. 
Okay, I'll be getting a point here. I'll be getting a point here. A point here and a point here. Okay, this has to lie on the lines, the joining D dash SP dash and 4 dash SP dash. So this here will be getting capital D of perspective. And here you will be getting capital 4. Oh, capital 4 means it's only 4. 4 of perspective. Capital D and 4. Similarly, next, you have to project A1. A1 you need not project because A1 is already touching picture plane. So this itself will be capital A and this itself will be 1. So this itself will be capital A and this itself will be 1. Next, project the point of B2. The point that is touching picture plane B2. I will be projecting it again vertically downwards. Okay, it has to lie on the line joining B dash, SP dash and 2 dash, SP dash. So again, we are getting two points. This is capital B. This is capital 2. And last, the point having from C3. Again, that also we have to project it downwards. Okay, that should be joined, projected on line joining C dash, SP dash and 3 dash, SP dash. We will be getting a point here. We will be getting a point here. Okay, this is capital C and uh, this is 3. Okay, so just look at the points. This is D4, this is A1, this is B2 and this is C3. Now the points are just scattered, but as usual you join the using our same concept that is we have to join the outermost lines first. So outermost in the sense I will be joining first D4. I will be starting with D4. Okay, D4 is outermost. Then from D I will be joining it to C. So CD is outermost that also should be visible. Then that can be joined to C can be joined to B. So that is also outermost. I will be joining again another using a dot line. From B I can draw a vertical line towards 2. I will be drawing a vertical line towards 2. That also will be visible since it is outermost. Then 2 can be joined to 1. That is outermost. I will be joined using a, a dark line again. And last from 1 I will be joining it to 4. So these are the outermost edges. I will be joining it initially darkly. Next, assume that the observer is standing here, he is, he is viewing all the corners. If he is viewing from this point, he will be able to visit or he will be able to see D4, he will be able to see A1, he will be able to see B2. He can never able, he will be never able to see C3. Okay, so A1 is visible, C3 is invisible. B2 and D4 we have already joined. B2 and D4 we have already joined, A1 should be visible. So A1 can be joined using a dark line. So A1 is dark. Next, C3 is not visible for him. So it should be a dotted line. Now, first we can join the outermost or the topmost points. The top face should be fully visible. So we can join AD using a dark line. We can join AB using a dark line. AD and AB will be visible. Okay. And next we are having two more edges that is on the base. That is... 2, 3 and 3, 4. From this we can understand that 2, 3 and 3, 4 will be invisible. That can be joined using dotted lines. So 3, 4 will be dotted and 2, 3 also will be dotted. So at the end we will be getting the perspective projection like this. The perspective projection of a rectangle block. So for getting the points you have to project these points. The points that are touching the picture plane. You have to protect this point to the corresponding lines in front view. That means the points that has been joined to SP dash. We will be getting A1, B2, C3, D4. Join the outermost points first. Then just check the visibility and which are lines are visible that should be dark and which are invisible that should be dotted. Okay, try to draw.